What are the measurements needed when drafting a male native shirt? The measurements needed are the next circumference measurement, it is necessary, the back measurement, that is the shoulder point to shoulder point, the chest circumference, that is also important, arm o depth, the arm o circumference. How do you get the arm o depth? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are a first timer, welcome to Reggae School of Fashion. Have you subscribed to my channel? You haven't. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on the subscription button now. And remember to put on the notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever I upload my next art video. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the process of how to take measurements for a male native shirt. Oh, wait. Have you watched my previous videos on how to draft and construct a male native shirt? If no, I recommend those videos. The link to the videos is in the description box. Without further ado, let's set the ball rolling. My name is Bola Jean and this is Reggae School of Fashion. Now I will be showing you how to take measurements for a male native shirt. What are the measurements needed when drafting a male native shirt? The measurements needed are the next circumference measurement, it is necessary, the back measurement, that is the shoulder point to shoulder point, the chest circumference, that is also important, arm o depth, the arm o circumference. How do you get the arm o depth? Arm o circumference divided by two gives you the arm o depth, the waist length, the hip level, the hip circumference, the chest length, and the sleeve length. So the first measurement I'll be showing you is the next circumference. In taking the next circumference measurement, I will wrap the measuring tape around the base of the neck. So can you see? This is how to take the next circumference measurement. You don't shock your client with measuring tape. Not this way. But like this. So this measurement helps you when you are drafting the neckline for the back and front pattern. So it helps you how to adjust, how to correct if the measurement is not enough. So by the time you construct the shirt, there will not be any issues. It will be perfect on the wearer. Another measurement needed when drafting a male native shirt is the back measurement. That is the shoulder point to shoulder point. And this measurement is taken at the back, as you can see, from one shoulder point to another shoulder point. Then how do you discover the shoulder point? So if your client raises his arm this way, tell him to put it down, there's a point where the arm and the body meet. So there's a space in between that point trace the point upward as you can see as i'm tracing the point it falls exactly on the center of the shirt is putting on so that is the center of the shoulder the center of the shoulder is not here the center of the shoulder is not here but it's somewhere around here this is the point where the arm and the shoulder meet there's a space a little space in between that place trace the space upward so where you get to the sloppy of the shoulder. So that is the shoulder point. You lay your measuring tape on that point. And if you cannot get that point for that, tell your client to raise his arm. There is a point that goes in uh, around the shoulder. So that is the shoulder point. If you did not get the real shoulder point, the measurement will not be accurate. Then extend the measuring tape and let it fall on the nape of the neck. So that is the bone, the bone at the back of the neck. Your measuring tape must pass it through that point. Then you bring it and extend it downward to the other side of the shoulder point. So that is how to take the back measurement. The next measurement is the chest circumference measurement. In taking the chest circumference measurement, the measuring tape comes from the back just the way you take measurements for the bust when you are measuring a female. So the chest circumference represents the bust circumference on a female figure. But the difference is the way you take the measurements is different. 
is different, not the same way. So this measurement is taken loosely. So you lose the measuring tape. You lose the measuring tape when taking this measurement and you make sure your measuring tape falls on the chest. It falls on the chest. So then how do you know how much your measuring tape should lose? So what I do is this. When you hold your measuring tape, the middle of your finger, just stretch it forward this way. Once that finger touches the, the body of your client, then the measurement is okay. So another measurement needed when drafting a male native shirt is the arm hole measurement. What do you do with arm hole measurement? The arm hole measurement is used for two purposes. The first one is to get the chest level. To get the chest level and it is needed when drafting the sleeve. So which means the arm hole depth is equal to arm hole circumference divided by two. Again, arm hole depth is equal to arm hole circumference divided by two. So when we divide the arm hole circumference by two, the value gotten is the arm hole depth. So in taking the arm hole circumference measurement, you wrap the measuring tape around the arm pit. And make sure the measuring tape falls on the center of the shoulder. So after wrapping it around the armpit this way, ask your client, is it comfortable? Tell him to raise his arm and put it down. Raise your arm, put it down. Are you comfortable? It's tight. So he said it's tight, so I will adjust my measuring tape. I'm adding 0.5 inches to what I measured before. So how is it now? It's fine. You understand? So as a beginner, make sure you communicate with your clients. Communicate with your clients. Because when you measure, you cannot feel what is feeling with the measuring tape. It's one that will feel it. So you ask him, how do you feel with this? Are you okay with this? And again, as I always say, that's what Mr. A likes, Mr. B might not like it. So you don't use what Mr. A likes to measure Mr. B. Ask him, are you okay with this? The next measurement needed is the waist length. You can call it waist length, waist level or waist point. They all mean the same thing. So how do you take the waist length measurement? Waist length measurements can be taken from the front or at the back. But as for me, I prefer taking the, the measurements at the back so that it will be very accurate. So in taking this measurement, I will lay the tip of my measuring tape on the nape of his neck. That is the bone at the neck. Then bring it downward, let it fall at the center of the back. So you bring your measuring tape downward until it touches his waist point. That is where the waist of his trousers falls. So make sure your measuring tape touches the tip of his trousers. So that is the waist length point. This measurement I'm showing you works for all type of shirts, but please note it's for fitted shirts, not for traditional native shirts called buba. It's for fitted shirts. So it works for fitted shirts, for button down shirts, for south south ways, for senator ways and so on and so forth. The next measurement I'm showing you is the hip level and the hip circumference measurement. To take the hip level measurement, you lay the tip of your measuring tip on the waistline, that is the real waistline. Then you extend it downward until it gets to the hip level. So that is measurement taken from waist to hip. So at this point, when you are taking this measurement, the way you take the hip level measurement for shirt is different from trousers. This is not going to stop at the center of the buttocks, but it stops at where the hip level stops. You can see as the hip, the curb is coming down. So it stops somewhere around here. So for his hip level, I will not use seven. If it's going to be at the center of its buttocks, it's 6.5. But because I'm not using the center of his buttocks, so I will be using 
8.5 so i'll be using 8.5 which is here so that is the waist to hip level the next measurement is the hip circumference measurement to take the hip circumference measurement you wrap the measuring tape around the hip area so this is going to fall at the fullest part of the hip so the fullest parts now make sure it's not too tight and it is not too loose so your index finger is going to be a gauge so you use it to control how fit and loose your measuring tape is so let your index finger be in between the measuring tape this way then turn it make sure the measuring tape can turn around the hip area so that is how to measure the hip circumference measurement the next measurement i'm showing you is the shirt length measurement the shirt length measurement can be taken in two ways but the way you take it determines how you measure it on your pattern so any of the methods you use you have to have it in mind and take note of it so that when you are drafting your pattern you measure it the same way on your pattern paper so the first method is by laying your the tip of your measuring tape on the corner of the neck so i'm laying the tip of my measuring tape on the corner of this neck can you see the corner of the neck so this is the side of the neck from the side of the neck downward to the base of the neck so i'm laying the tip of my measuring tape on that point then from that point i'm extending my measuring tape downwards and make sure the measuring tape passes through the chest the chest it is very important then you extend it downward bring it down you bring it down you bring it down bring it down so the max you can measure for a male native shirt length is this area the thumb is a guide so this is the max you can go for a fitted shirt so this is the the maximum length you can take but you can take lower than that so if you don't want it to get to this point you can ask your client how long he wants it he wants it to be and of course it cannot be on the hip level because it is not a button down shirt so it can it can be like one inches from the measurement you have on the thumb or two inches and the max you can subtract from there is three inches okay is three inches so that is how to take the shirt length the native shirt length measurement that is the first method the second method is by measuring from the center of the shoulder so from the center of the shoulder that is the point we measure shoulder to shoulder which is the back measurement so you lay the tip of your measuring tape on that point so that is the center of the shoulder then your measuring tape come down in a slant manner because it has to pass it through the chest level so you bring it down bring it down so if you are making use of this method bring it down when you get to the under of the chest you can leave the measuring tape from the shoulder hold it from this point then you bring it downward until the desired shirt length so that is the second method now what is the difference between these two methods the difference is one is taken from the corner of the neck and the other is taken from the center of the shoulder which means when you are drafting your pattern if you make use of the first method you start taking the shirt length measurement from the starting point which is the borderline why the second method when you are drafting your pattern you start measuring the shirt length measurement from the center of the shoulder if you don't know how to draft a male native shirt or you are used to freehand method you want to learn the pattern drafting method i recommend my video on how to draft a male native shirt very detailing and helpful so the link to the video is in the description box the last and not the least measurement i'm showing you is the sleeve measurement the sleeve measurement can be a short it can be three quarter and it can be a long sleeve so this measurement is needed when drafting the shirt uh, the, sorry the sleeve pattern not the shirt pattern so it's just included as a bonus so to take measurements for a sleeve i prefer making use of this method 
is taking the measurement from the center of the shoulder. So from the center of the shoulder, I will lay the tip of my measuring tape on that point and I'm bringing it downward. If it is a short sleeve, the short sleeve measurement starts from 7 inches. It can be 8 inches, it can be 9 inches, and it can be 10 inches. So it depends on the wearer. Ask him how long he wants the sleeve to be. It is a short sleeve, how long he wants it to be. But no matter how long he wants it to be, I think 8 inches is okay. Even this 8 to 9 inches is a traditional method. For the modern one, we have 5 inches, 6, 7, 7.5, and also it depends on the height of the wearer, you understand? It depends on the height. So the, 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 the best thing to do is to measure it and ask him, would you like the short sleeve to stop here? Would you like the short sleeve to stop here? Would you like the short sleeve to stop here? So that is the best way of taking the short sleeve measurement. Now, if you are taking a long sleeve measurement, make sure your measuring tape passes through the elbow point. So there is a point that goes in around the elbow, just the way we have it on the knee. So when you get to that point, make sure your measuring tape passes through that point. You leave your measuring tape from the shoulder point, hold it on that point, and extend it downward to the bone on the wrist. The bone on the wrist. So which means its long sleeve measurement is 26 inches. So that is how to take the sleeve length measurement. Now to the circumference, every measurement taken in length are also taken in circumference. So to take the circumference measurement of the sleeve, you come to the point of the sleeve length. So wherever, wherever point you're using at the sleeve length, round the measuring, wrap the measuring tape around that point and make sure it is not tight. Make sure it is not tight. Can you see? So can you see what how I'm measuring it? It is not a female one that will be very tight and firm. So if it is for female weight, it can be like this. But for male, there must be a breathing space for them to move their arm because of their muscles up and down. Do you understand? Not to lose. Not to lose. So but just make sure it's free. It's free a little. And for the long sleeve, you will need to take the measurement of the wrist, the circumference measurement of the wrist. So you take it to measure the circumference measurement of the wrist. Can you see the way I measured it? Not too tight. So you can see the sleeve is putting on. Can you see the cuff that is not firmly tight around his wrist? So because of their muscle, they need a breathing space. You understand? They need the breathing space. So when you are taking the wrist circumference measurement, make sure it is not too tight. It's not too tight. For him, I can use 9 inches for him. I can use 8.5 for him. Most especially if the shirt is going to be with cuff. If it's going to be with cuff, then we need some space for cuff links to relax. So when taking this measurement, make sure it is not too tight. So that is how to take the wrist circumference measurement. But in a case where the long sleeve is going to be without curve, which means you are not attaching curve to the sleeve. So you have to take the circumference measurement in such a way the measuring tape will come out of, you understand? It will come not freely, but forcefully. You should be able to force the measuring tape to come out of his hand. You understand because it is a fitted shirt but if it is for normal traditional shirt booba it can be as wide as anything it can be as wide as anything just bring it out but you want it fitted measure it let the measuring tape loose then bring it out forcefully so this is 10.5 i can decide to use 10 for him can decide to use 10 for him. It will come out. If it cannot come out from the right side, it will come out from the wrong side of the shirt. 
So please take note of this. This method of body measurement works for pattern drafting only. It cannot work for free and if you would like to know how to make use of pattern drafting, I have videos on how to draft a male native shirt making use of pattern drafting. Also, another important information I have to pass across is the way you take your measurements. After taking your measurements, don't forget there are some measurements that are needed to be divided by four, like the chest circumference measurements, the hip circumference measurement, they have to be divided by four. Well, we have some that are, that are needed to be divided by two, like the back measurements, the arm hole measurements. You divide those measurements by two. When you now divide your measurements, your calculator will give you answer in decimal. Then how do you locate that answer on your measuring tape? Please, if you don't know that, I recommend my video on how to read a measuring tape accurately for you. It helps a lot when drafting because any extra you add to your measurements, most especially if, if it is a measurement taken in circumference, it will be multiplied by four and you will not get the desired result after constructing your shirt. So please go through this video, it's going to be very helpful. You learn how to read your measuring tape accurately beyond 0 0.5, half of an inch, one quarter, to a three quarter and so on and so forth. You learn the correct way of pronouncing your volume on the measuring tape. The small lines you have in your measuring tape, what are they there for? How do you convert the decimal value to fraction and how you convert the fraction value to decimal? These and more are what you'll be learning in the video. The link to the video is in the description box. Also, I will be dropping a new video very soon on how to draft a male shirt sleeve. It's going to be a long sleeve with curves, how to construct the sleeve, how to attach it to the bodies, and how to attach the curve, how to make a button hole. So it's going to be a powerful one, it's going to be of help to you so thanks for your time see you in my next video and always remember there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs.